My name is uh, David Lasky. I'm the Director of Enterprise Efficiency and Facilities Management here at Second Harvest Heartland. And prior to this role, I was the Director of Operations. And then just after that, my job was to uh, find this location and design and build our new headquarters distribution center, which we're sitting in right now. So Second Harvest Heartland is the third largest food bank in the United States. Our job is to provide food to other food banks and agencies so they can provide it for free to people in need. All the people in need, if you look at our territory map, they're everywhere. They're in every rural community, they're in every suburban community, every urban community. They are your neighbors and mine. You just don't see it. And so that's who we serve. And so it's our job as community partners to take care of other people. And that's what we do. Um, actually, we were moving into this facility as COVID-19 became a global pandemic. And it's less about how it affected us, it's about how it affected our community. And it put a tremendous amount more people into the unemployment line and in need. And so our business actually grew 30% overnight. And that's basically measured on distributed pounds out into the community. So we had a tremendous need growing, obviously with the line of people going to food shelves growing rapidly, and so we needed to fill that need very quickly. AK was part of the racking build out in Maplewood when we had to figure out how do we fit more and more product into that building before this was even a pipe dream. And so when this became a reality and we were looking at different racking vendors, of course we had to go through an RFP. AK was one of the chosen vendors that we brought to the table. And quite frankly, they, they won the bid because of their experience, attention to detail, being willing to really dive into the details and also play the game of Tetra. So they had to go and look at our inventory at Maplewood and all that racking plus new racking for this facility and figure out how to most efficiently put it all together and use as much of the pieces and parts from Maplewood to build out this facility as possible because every dollar counted. We had a budget and we couldn't go over. In fact, we came in under. And so AK was part of that puzzle to make sure we used every last piece of racking that we had plus new. During the middle of all that, AK material handling was part of that whole move so in Maplewood, we were taking all of our food from that location, taking it down off the current racking, moving it over into this facility, shipping it out of the building, and at the same time, AK was taking down the racking at Maplewood, bringing it over to this facility, erecting it, having it inspected, and then we reloaded it, and it's what you see behind us today. Core operations is bringing food in and distributing it out into the community. And if you do that inefficiently, you don't exist. So you can't fill the need. So having a warehouse that's big enough to handle all the food that you're gonna bring in and ship out is critical. And also placement of racking, the size of the aisles, the different profiles and how they're built so it can accommodate all the different types of products that we bring in. And being able to bring it in and ship it out efficiently means that we are good stewards of the money that we get through donors and government funding and small fees that we charge for the food that we ship out to agencies. And if the state came to us and say, why didn't you pick the least expensive one? We could come back and say, we needed the expertise so we could get this done in the best way possible, not necessarily the cheapest way possible because cheap doesn't equal longevity. And in this building, um, because it's state bonded, we will be here as a food bank for a minimum of 37.5 years. So this is about durability. So we need to buy it once, buy it big enough, and build it so it's solid and durable because we're gonna be here for a very long time.